departing Big East member. Number three, Virginia Tech visiting Morgantown last year in Blacksburg final quarter. Brian Randall picked off in the end zone by Brian King, and West Virginia scored the upset. Back to this one. First quarter was scoreless. Virginia Tech driving. King has his eyes fixed on Randall. And when that happens, he's locked in. He's locked onto the football pick. That would lead to a K.J. Harris seven-yard touchdown on the drive. Brian Randall running the option not well. Pitch to Kevin Jones, fumble. West Virginia recovers. On first and goal, Quincy Wilson gets the ball, slithers just across the goal line. Make it 14-0 Mountaineers. What's going on here? Brad Cooper does his best acting job and earns the roughing the kicker call. Wow. Gives West Virginia a new set of downs. Wilson, though, fumbles the ball on the first play after the penalty. Vegas Robinson recovers. He's tackled. The ball comes out. Vincent Fuller picks it up. Take it to the house. Or did he? Wait a second. Is this play coming back? Check it out. It appears Robinson's knee, bang, right there, hit the ground. No whistle. No call. Play stands. Touchdown stands. A 14-7 game. Virginia Tech playing eight in the box, right? What's Rashid Marshall going to do? Right over those eight men in the box and right over everybody to Travis Garvin. Gone. 93 yards. Touchdown. And it's 21-7 West Virginia. Take another look at this beauty. Marshall, the nice play-action fake to Quincy Wilson trying to sell it. Watch the safety. Jimmy F. Williams biting on the play fake. And it was sold in a big way. And Garvin does his job to beat the coverage. The result, a touchdown. Both coaches talked about the long TD. It's been there. It was there at other times. It's been in other games. And, uh, but we, we hit it a few times in practice. We felt comfor comfortable by calling it. And it was well executed. And Travis and Rasheed did a nice job. And had them pinned in their territory, and then they got us matched up there. Uh, their best receiver on their rover, and and got into a speed thing, and and then they, you know, they score there, and that that kind of took us back pretty good. It's the second longest passing touchdown in West Virginia history. On the sideline in the third, Frank Beamer loses his cool with Ernest Wilford because of some penalties. Beamer slapped Wilford on the helmet. Afterwards, the coach said he was sorry, said he shouldn't have done that. He's a classy guy, the coach. Still in the third. 28-7, Randall's pass intended for Wilford, picked by Brian King. Another big game against Virginia Tech for him. Prior to Wednesday, the Mountaineers were 0-22 all-time against the top three teams. Our top Three. Reese, Trev, and Mark, your thoughts. In Morgantown, West Virginia, Wednesday night, Mountaineers fans going for the goalposts after their upset of Virginia Tech. Pepper sprayed by police. There were no serious injuries. The violence, though, spilled into the surrounding streets where rioting students set more than 100 fires, keeping authorities busy until 6 o'clock in the morning on Thursday. In fact, some firefighters were attacked by rioting fans. There were approximately 20 arrests. Morgantown's fire chief said his men took photographs of the fans who accosted them, and they will share those photos with police. Authorities will use the pictures and videotapes of the rioting to pursue charges against people they can identify. West Virginia also had incidents of fan violence a couple of weeks ago after a near upset of Miami. Georgia Tech hosting Maryland at an ACC ESPN Thursday night. A Ralph Regents Terps looking for their sixth grade win. Third quarter registered freshman Joel Stay. Them in for Scott McBride, who was groggy after a big hit. Third and 12 complete to Steve Souter, who's decked by Dewan Landry. Another look. Terps would kick a field goal at the end of the drive. Go up 3-0. Later in the third, we got a case of the dropsies. Stay them fumbles. It's bobbled. Nobody can get a hold on this thing. Grease pig scenario. Finally, Jonathan Cox recovers, and it's... Knocked out of bounds at the 18-yard line. Fourth quarter, third and goal. Your big play, Reggie Ball, Jonathan Smith. Only touchdown of the game, Chan Gailey. Tell us about your freshman QB, Reggie Ball. He didn't lose his poise. Uh, he, he threw the ball away. He was getting sacked in the first part of the game, and he didn't make any dumb mistakes. And if you can have a guy that'll find a way to win a game and he's leading his team to victory, that's the key. Later in the fourth, Maryland third and 12. Stratham, who had thrown only one career pass coming into the game. Really picked off by James Butler, his second of the night. Georgia Tech has won four in a row. They beat the Terps 7-3.